full day kindergarten by fall of 2019. And just like that, we're underway. Governor Jared Polis adding a specific date to his promise of having Colorado offer free full day kindergarten, but also adding a caveat. Districts that don't want to offer it won't have to. When we talk about kindergarten or preschool, that's not a mandate either for parents or for school districts. He believes Colorado's current budget has enough money to pay for this without impacting other services. But that's ultimately a decision for lawmakers to make. By the way, a one-year estimate for free full-day kindergarten is about $225 million. Folks are having a harder and harder time keeping up with the cost of living. The new governor also talked about putting more money in your pockets, calling on lawmakers to lower the state's 4.63% income tax rate, while also changing the fee that businesses get to keep for collecting sales tax. Businesses keep a certain percentage of the sales tax it collects just for the trouble of collecting sales tax. Our tax reform proposals will not change how much money the state collects or affect investment in public priorities one way or the other. Uh, it's simply about who pays. It asks the largest, most influential corporations to start paying their fair share so that individuals, families, and small businesses can pay less. And one of his health care goals is to allow Colorado to import cheaper prescription drugs from Canada. Canada has the same drugs, often from the same manufacturing plants that we have here in the United States for their residents who need them at a half, a third, even a quarter of the cost. The burden that prescription drug costs place on families is too crushing for us not to act boldly and I encourage all of us to do so together. Marshall Zellinger, Nine News.